Thunder Hill Farm. If you're new to the channel, we don't really do much farming. We used to be a uh, commercial blueberry operation here, about 150 acres in Maine. And uh, blueberries uh, became uh, not very profitable. So uh, we're not doing that. We just maintain the property now. So that's kind of what we're about. But we'd like to say that we blueberries, rocks, and poison ivy. And apparently now, uh, brown tail moth caterpillar. So, uh, it's getting pretty bad around here. Uh, it's not in other parts of the state, but uh, kind of Kennebec County where I am. It's uh, getting pretty bad. My, uh, my dad got nailed by him the other day. He was down doing something with the the shooting bench we have out back and uh, he got lit up so uh, we're gonna do mostly cab work that's kind of why I have uh, long sleeves on even though it's like 80 degrees out today uh, stay in the cab here do some mowing and uh, maybe uh, pick up a couple more rocks I'm gonna uh, do a little bit more work on the uh, rock wall uh, here, um, let me show you so this was our retaining wall project uh, and I was kind of waiting for our first uh, big rain so I could see how the uh, driveway grading worked and the grading around here. It was a real heavy rain so what we were seeing is uh, water kind of coming off the roof here and actually coming right around the rock pile and emptying down there which is bad. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is add a couple more boulders and keep that grade up so it comes and the water comes out here away from the house the rest of the driveway grading did a pretty good job of uh, kind of directing water down the hill here so uh, I'll need the uh, bucket on to uh, dig that out a little bit lay a couple more rocks in here so we can get that grade coming over that'll be for another day I've got the uh, grapple and brush hog on today I'm gonna go mow. All right, let's get to it. backfield is a field that we had uh, cleared when they were cutting our property probably three four years ago now and uh, had it de-stumped and get this big brush pile in that uh, I've got to burn it at some point got a couple of them there's actually up one in the corner of it too and uh, actually yeah, probably including the, the way back portion there are there are a couple of stump piles back there too. But, uh, we'll have to get burned at some point. Um, 
as you can see kind of from the overhead shots a lot of rocks and and whatnot kind of scattered through the field most of those are uh, not small rocks or other pieces of ledge so uh, brush hogs are kind of the right tool here it, uh, this is a woods brush bull 60 uh, and uh, it's a uh, six foot rotary cutter and uh, it's not super heavy duty I, I should probably have a heavier duty one with all these rocks around you got a lot of dings and dents and, and uh, or I should have the chains uh, chain guards on the front and back uh, there was some piece of rubber or something on the front and, and uh, on the back there was a piece of metal it's all kind of peeled up now so uh, it is what it is I guess Anyway, throw new, I usually throw new blades on it every other year, and it cuts okay. It's just uh, not as heavy duty as I'd like to have. Yeah, so instead of uh, doing the field right behind the house, I decided to go check out the main road that goes out back. Uh, two two weekends ago, I uh, reshaped um, the uh, the road that goes down there, and uh, came out pretty good. And, and uh, after that rain, uh, there was no uh, river running down the middle of it, so. Uh, I'll claim a little bit of uh, success there. Uh, as you can see, went down the road and uh, there's already grass growing up in it. and uh, Just uh, naturally occurring stuff. So we don't usually have to worry about seeding too much uh, around here on the back side of the property. It just kind of grows up. Also, while I'm down there, I decided to clean up a, a stump that was kind of poking out into the area that I, I cleared. And uh, then uh, disaster strikes the uh, brush hog. You'll see. Back to the barn and have a look. All right, so yeah, the uh, BTO shaft with a shear pin, which I found part of here. But also, I noticed these uh, 
bolts are starting to come loose and in fact I lost one down below so I'm gonna have to get that sorted out get another shear pin so it's Sunday my only option is tractor supply I don't know if they'll have one this big or not and whatever size those are Why do I expect tractor supply to actually have things? I don't know. Anyway, I didn't have a shear pin I needed. I didn't have a bolt I needed. I really didn't have much of anything I really needed. Anyway, uh, I think we're just going to put the Kubota away. It's uh, Sunday, June 20th. I think God's telling me to go have a cold one. So. I think that's what we're gonna do. Alright, have a good day.